Hi ladies, welcome back to my kitchen. This is Candice here. And uh, I don't know about you all, but after a seven game playoff stretch, very successful though, way to go Vancouver, uh, and the Easter holidays, I am bagged. I gotta tell you, I'm tired. And uh, when I found out uh, earlier this afternoon that my boyfriend wasn't gonna be home for dinner, I kinda changed the game plan for what I wanted to make today in order to do something really easy and a little bit lighter and something I can make really quick and if I wanna eat it standing over the counter, then that's what I can do. So what I'm gonna do for you is something I've been making for years and it is a fantastic little pizza that uh, thanks to my local deli, two bucks, thanks so much, makes me my pizza dough, that I'm gonna just roll out, bake uh, on a really high temperature um, at 500 degrees after I smear it with some garlic mayo. And then I'm gonna top it with some um, dilled cream cheese that I've chosen to use the light version this week. And uh, mostly you can use whatever which one you like. In fact, Philadelphia makes a, uh, a dill cream cheese that um, I just wasn't able to find. It's kind of strange. I have a fickle grocery store. They come and go with different products. So I've added my own fresh dill today and I've got some beautiful fresh smoked salmon from our um, from our market down the street, some artichokes, and what a nice little special treat that I think makes this pizza a bit different is that I make these um, marinated onions, which you will, seriously, you'll make all the time once you know how to make this. It's super, super quick. One onion goes in some uh, um, vinegar with some juniper berries, a bay leaf, a little bit of seasoning on my stove till it boils. One minute later, we cool it down and there are topping that goes on the very end for our little pizza. So I'm gonna get myself going because you don't need to see me roll out dough and, uh, and I'll meet you back here in just a second and we'll put this whole thing together. Hey ladies, I'm just behind the camera and while I was rolling out my uh, pizza dough, my onions became ready and I thought to show you what the finished product looks like when it's in your pot. Well, I don't want to get too close. And so all we've done is um, cook them on high till they're bubbling for about a minute. And now what I'm going to do is just transfer them to a, uh, a little bowl and uh, throw them in my fridge so they can cool down nice and quick. And uh, we're going to have them all finished. So back to rolling, off I go. Now ladies, I know I told you that I wasn't gonna show you how to roll out dough, because I know you know how to do that, but in one Italian restaurant that I worked in a few years back, the um, the old guy who ran the pizza oven showed me a little trick, that you start with your ball of dough and you just want to constantly pull it to the sides. You wanna begin stretching it out first before you start to roll it, and that means that you will have the least amount of work done on your pizza and you can roll it out a little bit easier and not toughen it up. So I just wanted to show you that really quickly. Hopefully you can see this <laughs> and, and now I will uh, be ready to just roll it out nice and thin because that's what I, uh, what I prefer. Okay gals, well I'm back. I've rolled out my pizza dough and I've spread it with um, some lovely um, light mayonnaise and uh, garlic that's been mixed together. That's gonna be my base. And now that I've just said uh, gals uh, one more time, I have to do a big shout out to all the uh, the real men out there. I was given uh, quite the gears this past uh, weekend with my, uh, fr my family back east and saying, why does she always just say, hey ladies? Why does she always just say, hey ladies? What are we? Top liver. So to all you real men out there supporting your women, thank you very, very much. And I'm hoping you are enjoying as much uh, of these recipes as we are making them. So that being said, hello men. And uh, I'm just going to throw this in a really hot oven, 500 degrees, for about eight minutes till it's nice and brown and crispy. And then I'm gonna come back, put it together at eight. Okay, so I'm all back and I have my nice crispy pizza crust here that I have nice and thin. And what I've done is uh, while it's still hot, it's pretty hot to the touch still, I've just put um, four sections um, of my Philadelphia cream cheese with my dill and I'm letting it sit there just to get it a bit warm. It's been there about 30 seconds now. So I'm just going to spread out my cream cheese all over my pizza crust. Now ladies, I like my pizza crispy, which you can, kind of tell. Um, I might have even overdone it for me, but I um, I just left it in maybe about uh, two minutes longer than my eight minute because I really do like a nice crispy crunch, almost like a, like a cracker. So this is just personal preference, but you can have it as chewy as you like. And so we're just going to mat all that on there, and that's our base. And then we just go to town with our toppings. So I like to start first with the smoked salmon. So I'm just going to take a piece here and show you quickly how we do this. So nice and fresh. 
beautiful. We're really spoiled on the West Coast for this. And I kind of like to just put it in, um, in pieces that look like the wedge itself. So if I was going to cut this up into individual pieces, um, it would all have each an individual piece of salmon to go with their wedge. And uh, I mentioned to you this before that I uh, make this pizza a lot. And uh, what I like to do as well is it's a great brunch item. And if you are so inclined and feeling rather Italiano, you can easily top this with a nice poached egg. And uh, it really kind of, uh, it gives a bit of a wow factor. And people seem to really enjoy it. I mean, it's kind of like a take on, um, on Eggs Benny, I suppose. Just gonna put that there. I think I actually learned this from a chef friend of mine I used to work with. And uh, I mean, ironically, I myself, as much as I've worked in restaurants most of my life, I've uh, never worked in a kitchen. I've just learned by, uh, by seeing. And the one thing I have definitely seen over the years with chefs is when they cook for themselves, they cook simple food. They don't wanna be fussing around at home all the time. So I uh, have taken a lesson from them tonight. So I've just got about, a, probably about a tablespoon for me of the capers, but you can use a teaspoon or, or more, or more or less. I just really like the little salty uh, bite that it gives. I like these ones. Put them over the top. Then I'm gonna put my artichokes just in between the uh, smoked salmon pieces to make it look pretty. Now I choose to use um, artichokes that are not already marinated. Um, I kind of like to control that a little bit. So I just marinate them myself and I just get the ones in the can that are in water and I simply just drizzle them with a little bit of fresh lemon juice and salt and pepper, maybe a little bit of olive oil, and just let them sit away until my pizza's ready for me. And, and they're really nice and fresh, and they don't have that kind of, um, let's say, slimy feel that sometimes the marinated ones uh, can be if you don't get a you know really good quality ones. And then the last thing I'm going to do here is just sprinkle with my fresh dill, which I love. So it's just personal preference, how much you'd like. I'll do the chef thing, sprinkle from above. Oh, I'm making a mess of my perfectly clean kitchen. That's one thing, ladies, I gotta say about this contest. My, my kitchen's staying very clean. It's very, very good. And then last but not least, our piece de resistance. These are our chilled um, marinated onions that have just been sitting in the refrigerator. It doesn't really matter if they're not chilled when they go on your pizza. It's just that I find that the flavors are really nicely infused by them. And uh, it just doesn't matter really because this isn't, it's a warm pizza rather than a hot pizza. And uh, even as I touch them, they're not quite cool to the touch, but they have such a beautiful, color against the uh, against the salmon so much so that I think I need to actually show you a close-up of this and let me finish off my fingers and then I'm going to show you how I'm going to eat this <laughs> So here you go, ladies. This is the finished product of little uh, little old me dinner for myself tonight. So there's our smoked salmon with the beautiful marinated uh, onions and some lovely artichokes and a nice crispy crust. And I really think that you will enjoy this recipe and it will be a go-to for you for ages. Now I'm going to cut into this little guy and enjoy my dinner. So thanks for joining me for my quick little bite tonight that I think if you don't mind, I'm just going to lean over the sink and eat so I don't have to dirty another plate. <laughs> and normally I would love to have a, I don't know, a nice glass of Riesling or a Chardonnay with this. But after all of the excess of the weeks past, I think a good old glass of water will have to do me. So you enjoy yourselves tonight. I'll see you tomorrow with something a bit more adventurous perhaps. And I really hope you enjoy this. It's uh, It really is. It's a, it's a fantastic little meal. Thanks so much. Bye everybody. Mm.